Hey there, welcome back to my channel. I'm Cybersecurity Mag, and as always, I'm super stoked that you're here. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the new holy grail of blue team training. You guys are always asking me, hey Meg, I want to get into blue teaming, whether it wants to be a SOC, Security Operations Center Analyst, a Security Analyst, if you want to get into IR, Incident Response, and you say, how do I garner the necessary hands-on keyboard skill set to learn these skills that will help me have a better chance at acquiring a job in blue teaming? And I'll be honest with you, up until today, there were very extensively limited options when it came to learning blue team skills. And even more so, taking a hands-on keyboard exam to get a certification that was related to blue teaming. There are a lot of a lot of options that exist for this in the defensive security world, but very few in the defensive security world until today. Today's video is going to be centric around talking to you about Hack the Box's new Certified Defensive Security Analyst certification path. It also has a job pathway that you have to complete before you actually take the certification exam. I'm going to refer to it as the CDSA, Certified Defensive Security Analyst. That way, I don't have to bore yourself, bore you or myself by saying it 20,000 different times throughout this video. So when I say CDSA, I'm referring to the Certified Defensive Security Analyst certification. So, like I mentioned, one of the biggest things that's constantly being asked of me is, hey, Meg, I want to get into cybersecurity, specifically blue teaming, but I don't know how to get the appropriate skill sets and technical acumen to be able to apply or advance my skill sets in this kind of job. And the reality of the situation is when I started in cybersecurity six or seven years ago, there was next to nothing when it came to training or hands-on technical certifications around defensive security. Why? Because a lot of the defensive security tool sets that are used for enterprises are not providing training that's open source or that training that is available is provided to people who work for the large enterprise or SMB organizations and have the thousands of dollars required to be trained in it. And frankly, I think that created a real big skills gap in the cybersecurity field. So thank gosh, Hack the Box is here to save the day, a platform that we can all arguably say is traditionally, especially given the name Hack the Box, an offensive security or purple teaming kind of leaning platform. Now they're opening and leading the way for blue team platform. So yay, that's incredible. As a blue teaming girl myself, I'm really excited about that. On a side note, it's kind of funny that in my first YouTube video, well, like today that I'm wearing super dark clothes and dressed as a stereotypical quote unquote hacker, that I'm talking to you about a defensive security certification, but I love that for us. So we get that out of the way. Hack the Boxes CDSA certification and job pathway. They were very kind to give me access to it. So I've gotten to go through several of the domains, test out several of the modules, is extremely extensive. And right now it's completely separate from a lot of the other market certifications for several reasons. One, it's comprised of eight specific domains that are going to allow you to garner the necessary technical acumen to be successful in a hands-on role when you acquire the certification. A lot of the certifications on the market nowadays for defensive security don't require any hands-on training. The exams certifications are multiple choice. The really nifty thing about the CDSA exam is that there's no multiple choice whatsoever. <laughs> for the first time that I've seen a professional organization offer a completely non-multiple choice exam, I'm really excited about that, especially given the price point of this. So the exam and the voucher to like acquire this costs 210 US dollars right now, which in my opinion is extremely reasonable given the value of what's provided in the exam path and all of the modules that you're given. So it covers eight different domains from things leaning all the way from SIM, like ELK and Splunk, all the way down to things like incident response, digital forensics, or DFIR, SOC, security operations. And then that's broken down into 165 different sections throughout those eight different domains. So eight domains, 15 different modules that are comprised of those within those eight domain topics and 165 sections. What I also really like about this is that you don't need any fancy tool sets or anything to actually take the exam. 
I know for a lot of people, it's complex taking these hands-on technical exams because they require setting up like a virtualized environment and garnering all this licensing and tools and extraneous things to be, to be able to even take the exam. But the really nifty thing about the Hack the Box CDSA exam and certification is literally it's all built into the browser. All you need is a VPN connection. So I really enjoy that, especially because this exam is targeted towards people who are entry-level SOC analysts, entry-level looking to get into IR, anything quote-unquote entry or intermediate level. It's providing you the basic environment that you need without having to go through all the extraneous hoops of garnering different licenses and whatnot to take an exam, which to be honest, I really enjoy that because I'm lazy and I don't want to have to set up and buy a bunch of different things to take an exam. So that said, why I really like the CDSA, I've gotten to go through, Hack the Box is really kind enough to give me the license to go through and play around in it. One, ease and efficiency. Like I said, everything is built into browser, so there's no setup, there's no emailing Hack the Box and saying, like, what the heck, I can't access anything and being super stressed and then just kind of giving up because you can't even access the content that you need to study to take the exam. Been there, done that, haven't we all? So I love the ease and like ease of access. Number two, how extensive and in depth the content is. I've read a lot of and participated in a lot of content in my years in cybersecurity. And specifically, I specialize in incident response, cloud security, SOC, all the normal blue teaming or defensive security things. I've gone through several of the modules for this certification pathway. It is some of, if not the most extensive content that I have been able to partake in. I believe that it gets very granular. However, I would say that it's poignant. And what I mean by that is when you're studying for an exam, there's such a thing as having too much that it gets into the weeds, so to say, where you don't need all that extra fluff and you're just sitting there reading or clicking and going through an exercise and you're like, why are they teaching me this? How is it going to be relevant? So I really enjoy how poignant and in-depth the content is with leaving out the extra fluff. The third thing I really love about the CDSA is how relevant it is to the industry. So once you go through this job pathway and complete the 15 different modules, you are only then, once you've completed all 165 sections throughout the modules and domains, allowed to take the exam. And I'll get into another part of why I like this later, but the content that's packed into this learning pathway is extremely relevant to the work that I have done and continue to do on a daily basis, which I think is extremely rare to find. Oftentimes, if I'm studying for an exam, a lot of it's not relevant to things that I would be doing in a normal day-to-day -day job, but all of the key skill sets in a vast majority of what I'm reading, the content that I'm consuming, the exercises that I'm doing, because this is completely hands-on a lot of it, it's all relevant to what I've done in my enterprise jobs over the years, which I think is fantastic. I'm not the kind of person that wants to study for an exam and have it be irrelevant to what I'm doing in my day job. I know that happens sometimes, but it's not ideal. Of course, you want what you're learning to be able to translate over to the skills you're going to need to get a job or to upscale your skill set in a job. So that's something that I, I think is just incredible. One of the other things that I really love about the CDSA is that you can't just finish the job pathway, the modules and the sections, and then be certified. It's not how it works. So you do have to finish all 165 sections in order to even unlock the exam. But once you are taking the exam, here's what's really nifty about it. Like I mentioned, there's no multiple choice whatsoever, which if you're like me, I think that's great. I'm tired of the exams that are just rote memorization and testing what port number is this? <laughs> you know, uh, yeah, this is great information to have, but I read, I'd much rather be tested on things that are going to be more interchangeable with the real world, right? So this exam requires creativity. It requires, you know, actually correlating data. It requires real life hands-on skills that you're going to be using and applying in an entry or intermediate level blue teaming job. Uh, so again, one of the really nifty things, which I haven't mentioned, but when you are taking this exam, the last thing you're doing in the exam is you're providing a commercial grade report. 
on the organization and discerning like, oh, this is your risk level or risk assessment. This is how the incident was handled. So it's really following through the entire life cycle of what you would do in a genuine real life, real world defensive security job. Obviously, when you're working in a real defensive security job for an enterprise, SMB, what have you, you're not just going to stop at figuring out the problem. Like, oh, heck, we've been attacked. What do we do? You're going to discern this is why we got attacked. This is how we got attacked. This is how we prevent ourselves from getting re-attacked. This is how we fix the attack. There's an entire incident response life cycle that you're going to go through. And of course, one of the key portions of that is providing report back to your superiors, your C-suite, your manager personnel so that you can provide your recommendations on what should we do differently? How can we do this better? What are our strengths and weaknesses? And that is a part of the CDSA exam, which frankly, I think is really, really incredible because I haven't seen that on any blue team exams. Um, and again, I mean, I work in consulting now, so I can tell you <laughs> report writing in any security role is so vitally important. Being able to accurately and effectively convey your thoughts as a technical practitioner and put it on the paper and communicate that efficiently up to your managerial or C-suite folks is an invaluable skill. So overall, I highly recommend the Certified Defensive Security Analyst Pathway and Exam. I'm going to put a link down to the pathway and certification in the box below. I highly recommend going to check it out. I think this is a game changer for the cybersecurity industry. I think it's going to help us in filling the job skill gap with the several million jobs that we have that are not being filled in the cybersecurity industry right now. And I think it's a really big turning point for the cybersecurity market, to be frank. I think this is really the first time that we're seeing a hands-on defensive security pathway that also provides a very valuable and realistic certification exam with a certification at the end that you can, of course, put onto your resume to help you garner a job in cybersecurity. Thanks so much for watching today's video. I hope you found the content to be helpful. And again, shout out to Hack the Box for sponsoring today's video. The CDSA is a fantastic certification and I'm really proud to have gotten to be able to access it, to read the material and share with all of you guys about it. Until next time, ciao.